Hello, people of St. Francis. A reading from the book of Psalms. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? This has been an interesting week, hasn't it? A lot of things have changed for all of us. It's also been a time for many of us to lift up our hearts to God, praying for our neighbors, finding opportunities to check in with each other, to encourage and to offer hope. I, it's been a gift to speak with many of you this week and to hear of how you're finding ways to use your time fruitfully, to connect with other people, how your spirits are still strong. Many of you have been joining us for our services that we're live streaming from the chapel at 9 o'clock and 5 o'clock each day. I hope that many of you will tune in on Sunday when we'll also have some music, a few hymns, and, and familiar responses as we uh, lift our hearts to God in praise. We did learn this week that the time that public worship and church activities is suspended uh, will be extended beyond the two weeks that had been previously discussed. Our bishop has informed us that we should plan to be uh, c carrying on in this way uh, for, until at least mid-May, though if the public health authorities think it's wise for us to be back together again soon, we will certainly do that as soon as we can safely uh, do it together. A message will also be coming out this week about some opportunities for you to connect with one another. We're going to have a kind of virtual coffee hour uh, two times this coming week uh, on Wednesday evening and again on Friday at lunchtime. A chance to check in with each other and see how things are going. Some of you I know have expressed a, a desire to be on part of a list that would call those who may be most vulnerable in this challenging time and there'll be an opportunity this week to sign up for that. And also, if you're uh, in good health, um, to help perhaps run some errands for members of the congregation and others in the community uh, who find it especially difficult to go out at this time. You are in my prayers, and I know that we are praying together for one another and for the needs of the world. And uh, we, well, this is a time to bear witness to the hope that is in us, that the Lord is the strength of our life, and that we do not need to be afraid because he is with us in all things. Let us pray. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.